I'm going to be doing something today that I never thought I would ever, ever do in my chess career ever. And uh, that is, I'm going to be playing Stockfish at its maximum potential. And this is going to be funny because I blunder a lot. My win rate is only 53% in chess. My ELO is like, you know, two times, like it's only half of a... Nelson Lopez, who, like, is a great chess player. His YouTube channel is Chess Vibes. And, like, I'm going to be playing him until I win. I actually got this idea from Chess Vibes. Thank you very much, Nelson. And uh, it's going to, like, you know, go like this. So, like, basically, I'm going to be playing uh, Stockfish at its maximum level, level 8. And I'm going to be doing that until I win. Now, you might be thinking that it's never going to happen. But no, here's the catch. Every time I lose a game, I'm going to be removing one point of material from Stockfish and then trying again, all the way until I win. Now, who knows how far down the line that is? I don't know. Uh, for all I know, it could be like game number 40 when I've removed all the material and it's just a queen itself. And if I lose at that point, then... Um, I will literally go light myself on fire and jump into a volcano, literally. So yeah, uh, let us uh, get started. Um, I've already, let's, um, without further ado, uh, here we go. So uh, we, we have here, um, I'm gonna go to the, continue from here, play with the computer. Um, All right, Stockfish set to level eight. I am being stupid here, um, but that's how I am in life. Just a dumb human being who uncoincidentally got a major in business and a minor in math. Okay, I want to play as white. Okay, good luck. The first game will just be uh, an even game. Um, I know I'm going to die, but uh, let's go. Let's play the English opening first. Uh, I don't know, D4. <laughs> uh, what about this? Yeah, we're detecting that. Uh, now, just for a record, I'm not going to play it like uh, Nelson Lopez did. I'm going to do a slightly different version. I am going to play without time limit. So I think the one minute really makes things harder and like Nelson is like 2300 in chess so, and I'm like only 1100 so I think the it, it would be fair to impose the no time limit um policy okay so uh what do we do now um I don't know this <laughs> I literally have no idea what I'm doing just like with my life Uh, this. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know that awkward feeling when you um when you see the first question on your final exam, and you just know you're gonna fail. Yeah, that that's kind of how I feel right now. Uh. Okay. Um, my bishop. Okay. This, I suppose. I wonder if the castle, I wonder if I could do the Greek gift sacrifice like this. I've seen it on YouTube a few times. Uh... Yeah. Wait, why aren't they taking my pawn? Oh no, the bishop's protected. Yeah, I don't know if I can hold on to this much longer. Uh, castle? <laughs> I don't. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. Uh. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
What about? Mm. Nah. Maybe I'll maybe I'll go for a draw. Wait, hang on. I think I'm losing this guy though. Wait, no. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I can't do a pawn storm because these pawns are on the same side. Uh, okay, uh I don't know this. I'm going to make a policy that I'm not going to resign. So, like, I will never surrender every game. Like, I'm going to play until the very end, until my knuckles are sore and bloody. So I will not, no point will I resign. Not until checkmate. Which might happen because it's stockfish, but. Oh, I can't do the Greek gift anyway because the um, knight is missing. What about this? Oh my god, I didn't even see that. Okay, well, that's the first part of my Sega. Well, I'll be back in two or three days to do part two where I remove a pawn, so stay tuned for that. This was uh my first uh <laughs> this wasn't surprising though, but um Yeah, I'd love to stay, but for now, I gotta jump. I'll see you guys on the other side of the bridge. Catch you next time. Let's see how Stockfish likes playing without its pawn tomorrow.